physical or a mental phenomenon? And if it's both, what percentages would you give to physical and what percentage would go towards mental? Ted, what about for you? Well, I, well, I, I sort of alluded to that in my talk. I think it's 100% uh, of both. I, I know that uh, and Maharishi once lecture on it. Uh, people asked him about that, and he says, uh, you're 100% physical and 100% spiritual. And everything is a portal or a gateway. Some people have a, uh, a, an emotional experience and heal very deeply. Some it's a spiritual and some it's a physical experience. The physical body getting better can heal their mind and spirit or it can be through another way. Uh, it varies based on the person. Great. And Doc, what's your, your take on that? I believe that it's both, obviously, and it all starts with inappropriate response to some stress in life. I believe all disease starts in that manner. We all have stresses and we respond to them with fear, anger, guilt, frustration. That's going to separate you from the healing power. So the original cause is a subconscious fear or a subconscious energy, whatever you want to call it. So that is, is the emotional or the spiritual component. But then the physical body has to respond to that. And so sometimes it gets stuck in the physical body and that's when nutrition comes involved and we have that involved in our system. Or that's when sometimes you have to touch the physical body on the spine so that input comes from the spine into the cerebellum, then back again. So then it's from the physical. But it always starts, in my opinion, from an emotional trauma. Yeah, and sometimes removing the interference is called surgery too. <laughs> it, it was for me. David? <laughs> I mean, well, my model says that consciousness is primary and matter is secondary. And so this field of unmanifest intelligence takes the expression of subjective reality, which we call the mind, and objective reality, which we call the body. And so I think, you know, as in our role as healers, our responsibility is to see where is it primarily manifesting. So someone was in a major auto accident, even though you may say the reason he was in the auto accident is they were driving too quick because they had just been in an argument and there was a deep underlying emotional reaction, you still have to deal with the physical trauma. On the other hand, certainly at the Chopra Center, when we see people with chronic pain, it seems as if there's an underlying story where there's a lot of trapping of emotional energy to the point that we actually now believe that the body is basically the subconscious mind. That when you're not dealing with it consciously, the body stores that toxicity, that pressure, that tension. And so you can access it physically and there's nothing like being touched where, when you're hurting, but there's also this ability or this need to look at what's the underlying holding that's keeping you from being back in that flow of inhaling and exhaling in the flow of the universe.